I'll start with uh, Air Force, a huge game for us and for them. And a big victory on senior night for all sorts of reasons. Uh, a home game that we were supposed to win. We'll probably, not probably, we're going to finish the season with no, quote, bad losses. And that's critical. Now, we would have liked to add a few more wins. And we're looking forward to a few more wins now, starting at Boise. But I think we've got a resume that's uh, going to speak well when we start looking down a week from Sunday for the tournament. More importantly, we won that game at home. And we've got a big game at Boise, and everybody knows the, the MO, the track record of our games with Boise. Three times last year, one time this year. The only time the, the <coughs> game was not close was at Boise. And we were 4-0 four and, four and against them. So to sell out, they will be ready. And there is a lot riding on this game for both teams. So we will be prepared. Short work week for us. They played Tuesday. We have to travel. So we really had one day to practice, which was today, Friday, or Thursday. But we'll be ready to play. Any questions for Jamal or JJ? Jamal, when, when Boise State joined, uh, joined the league, it was almost an afterthought for basketball because everyone was so focused on football. How aware were you of the potential for them to improve themselves so dramatically that now they're looking pretty much like, especially if they break the beat you guys on Saturday in NCAA tournament team? Uh, after the first game we played them, uh, the first time we played them, we went down to the last shot. They had a chance to win the game and beat us. So after that first time playing them, I knew it was going to be good and be a special team. Is this game also more significant for you guys because it's sort of your first, last test of, of maybe how you guys can adjust to playing better on the road? Is this sort of where you can sort of put a spike in the dance this is more easy? Yeah, I would say it's a test. Uh, every game's a test to us. We all want to win every game. We don't go in the game feeling that we need to make this game close. We go to every game think we can win, and every game's a test. So I feel like it's going to be a big test for us to play at Boise State. Knowing it's going to be a sellout crowd, and they're playing well at home. Coach, uh, you guys might end up playing Boise twice, um, of course, on the road and in, in the Mountain West Conference tournament. Uh, does that help in, in preparing or game planning for an opponent or anything different? Say that again. Uh, just, uh, you guys might play Boise State uh, twice in a row. Um, does that help, you know, game planning, preparing for an opponent? It does. It does for both teams. Uh, you don't have to go back and relook at film. Well, what did they do? It's fresh on your mind. So I, I think it's pretty certain that we'll play either Boise or Air Force uh, in that first game. We played Air Force on Wednesday. We played Boise on Saturday. So it will be fresh in our mind as w it will be for them whoever the opponent is. And some people said, well, you're going to, because you might play them again, are you going to do wholesome stuff back? We're doing everything we possibly can to get a win on Saturday. Looks like you guys are going to have a new uh, media rights deal with ESPN. Um, I've heard you talk before about the importance of television. Um, would you consider a move like this to be sort of the forefront of getting your face and your signature on television? We're on television. I'm not worried about being on television. We're on television, and uh, the better we play now, the more we're going to be on television. So we're, we're worried about Boise State and getting to the Taco Bell Center and playing up there. Anything for JJ? JJ, can you talk about um, approaching the same thing what Coach just asked about playing a team twice in the space of four days? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely hard, uh, especially with a good team like Boise. You know, uh, they're a streaky team that can get hot, and and it's hard to stop them. So um, I think it's just about making adjustments and and also, but also sticking to uh, to what was successful in in the first games. You know, if if those continue to work, then then you got to stay with it. But uh, if not, you got to be able to make adjustments and, and on the fly and, and get a win in any way, by any means. What's tricky about them? What makes them so difficult? Uh, you know, they, they all can shoot. You know, they, they have four guards. They can have four guards on the floor that, that all can shoot, you know. And uh, 
when a when a couple start getting high, then everybody starts getting high, and you know they they start throwing up shots, and they all start going in. I think that's that's the hardest thing is is when they really get high, they uh, they're hard to stop. So you got to make their first few shots difficult and let them know that's gonna be a hard night, and uh, then then go from there. Satisfied with your season personally as well as the team season? Um, I feel that we all had a good season, but I feel like we're not satisfied. Uh, I feel like it's still a lot for us to accomplish. We gave a couple games away, and me and myself, I had important goals going to the season I haven't accomplished yet, and I, I did, didn't do too well this year. Some goals I accomplished, I wanted to accomplish, but I say I'm satisfied at a point, but I'm not satisfied. No, nah, I'm worried about Boise right now. I'm really not worrying about the NBA or coming back to college right now. I need to worry about one game at a time and worry about focus for my team and not focus on what I'm going to do next year. At the end of the time, and when the time comes, that time comes. But right now, I'm focused on the season. Coach, is it tough not to pay attention this time? I guess going into the Air Force game, there was a question mark. You know, are the Aztecs in the tournament? Are the Aztecs, you know, they had to win last night. And you win last night, it seems like everyone's like, oh, they're a shoe in. Does you guys think, I mean, fans think about that, and players and coaches think about that, and does it, does it weigh on you? Or you sure think you think about it. Everybody thinks about it. Uh, the, the one thing that I have liked is that uh, we have not been talked about this year as in some years, first in, first out, all of that stuff. I, I think we have been talked about for a whole stretch of the season as squarely in the tournament. The only way you know for sure you're in the tournament is to win three games in Vegas. Uh, but as I said earlier, I think we've uh, created a resume where we will be a good sell to the selection committee. Uh, but you don't know until your name is called. I feel like every day is national platform. Uh, if you got direct TV, Cox Cable, you're able to see our game. So I feel like every day is a national thing. And if we're not on ESPN, you could easily look us up on ESPN and see our stats. It's the same thing. So I'm not really too big about playing on ESPN or uh, playing on Time Warner or playing on CBS College. At the end of the day, we're all going to end up on the same court. And at the end of the day, when you go to the tournament, everybody plays on CBS. So it doesn't really bother me. At the end of the day, we just got to play basketball and not worry about that. How much of it do you look at and say something we're not doing right? How much of it do you look at and say we're just in the top conference in the country and everybody loses? Uh, some games that we should have won that we slipped up and made some mistakes, but at the same end, I can't got to give credit where it's due. And this conference is nothing to play with no more. This conference is real good. So if you're making a few little mistakes, it makes it real tough going on the road. And we got to make sure when we go into Boise that we don't make those few mistakes and get this win. And Coach, uh, uh, you said in the past that uh, television exposure is really important for a uh, recruit when they're looking at which school to go to. Um, and if, if uh, the Mountain West does, you know, finalize the deal with, with ESPN, because uh, of course ESPN is seen as like, you know, the premier network to be on. Do you think that could be a, a boost to recruiting? The biggest boost to recruiting is winning. The biggest boost to recruiting is getting them into this building and seeing the atmosphere that has been created by these guys and the, those that preceded them. Uh, Jamal made the comment, it, almost every game we play is on some form of television. And we have no control over what platform we're going to be on, but we have every bit of control over how we prepare and whether we're going to win or not. Uh, so we've had, it, we've had uh, games on ESPN. Uh, we haven't had them here because of the contract that we've had. So. Uh, We'll see where we go in terms of what 
the contract looks like. I read the paper too. I see where Fox Sports is talking about going to a 24-hour all sports station. And what will that mean to – will they be a fledgling nipping at the heels of ESPN and all the rest of them? Uh, so you make the most of what you've got. And – We've attempted to do that. I think the way you schedule non-conference presents opportunities for you. Hey, next next fall, we're playing up in Anaheim. All of those games are on ESPN, so we're going to be on that. Uh, we went to, 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 to Hawaii. Those games were on ESPN. So we've done our, our due diligence to get ourselves exposure any way that we can, but the greatest form of, of attracting recruits is winning getting to the tournament. We have an opportunity to go four straight years of the NCAA tournament. That's what sells recruits. That's where they all want to go.